Hey there, I'm May, and welcome to my first video. Today I'm going to be starting a new coat project. I am making it out of this old quilt that I thrifted a couple of weeks ago. And I'm going to be using the Paola coat pattern. It is a free pattern by fabricstore.com. So I'm going to link that below so you can download it, print it out, and have your own pattern to follow along with. And then I'll just be showing you step by step how I put everything together. I did the collar a little bit differently than the pattern suggests because my fabric is so thick, but I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out. So if you want to follow along, grab that pattern and let's get sewing. So I always start by mapping everything out. So I'm just drawing my pattern here and how I'm going to attach everything. And then I'm gathering supplies, cutting mat, of course, your fabric of choice, cutting utensils, measuring tape, in your pattern. And then I'm beginning the long process of cutting this bad boy out. I decided to add four inches to the bottom of the front and back. I just liked it a little bit longer than the pattern suggests. So I'm using the front piece on the left to cut out the right. So front bodice is done. This is the back piece. Normally I would cut this on the fold like the pattern suggests, but my fabric is so thick I just flipped it over and mirrored it. I've got the back piece and now cutting out the sleeves. And I'm trying to use all the edges that are already there to reduce any waste. And then again using that first sleeve as the template for the second. Here are the pockets. I end up taking out the batting just to make it a little thinner to work with. And then just one cut of the collar. Again, I'm going to take out the batting and just use the lining and the quilted portion sewing those together. So here's that little pocket without the batting. I'm sewing it kind of inside out and making a little bag. So the lining and the quilted piece I'm sewing together and then as it comes inside out I will sew the top down to create this little perfect pocket. And voila! And then I got my iron out, pressed that so the seams are nice and flat. And then I'm just sewing a line over the top here, just one simple line to keep all those little fabric hems tucked inside. And while I had my iron out, I figured I would get going on the collar as well, sewing it right sides together. And unfortunately, I ran out of bobbin thread. If you know, you know that this is so frustrating when you think you have sewn a long way and you really haven't. <laughs> and here I pinned on those pockets Taking the batting out of the pockets really helped this process and working with something much thinner. And then I overlock the edges since I have an overlocker. If you don't, I would use pinking shears or you can zigzag the edges. Another way to do it would be as the payola pattern suggests, which would be to finish it with a flat felt seam. And here I'm sewing the coat together, shoulder seams, doing right sides together. Essentially in this first step we are making a little vest. So you'll have the back and the two front panels sewing together at the shoulder seams. And we'll see how she looks. Pretty good so far. Next side is going on. And tragedy strikes again. The thick fabric caused me to break a needle. And I just needed a little break after all this. <laughs> Coming back.
back inside, I realized that I started sewing and didn't film it. So in that time, I attached the sleeves and then attached from the wrist down to the bottom of the coat, which essentially brings the whole thing together. Could be done at this step if you wanted to. I decided I wanted to add a bias bound edge and a collar. So going about switching out my thread here for something darker to match the binding tape. And here I'm using a technique that I learned from Maddie of the Essentials Club. Highly recommend her videos. Just go watch her video on her toweling set. And this is how she finishes all her bias edges. She like creates this little pocket. She sews it right sides together and it creates a perfect little edge. And I just loved it. I don't know why I never thought of it before. Genius. So here's that little cap that'll sit right on the edge of the coat. And we are pinning right sides together, one edge of the bias tape to the inside of the collar. I really didn't have a solid game plan going into my collar, but I just kind of <laughs> winged it and closed all of the seams up in this bias binding. So here I'm showing it pinned down. So I had sewn that first line with a really clean edge and then I pinned it down with the collar kind of sandwiched in between. And then I sewed it and pretty happy with how it turned out. Kind of tucked all the hems and seams together, which I liked. And then here she is, all done. And that's it. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, subscribe to my channel and I'll be posting some more soon. Thanks.